Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, Robin William here with uh, Let's Talk About Knowledge, and the company is Gamma County. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about two very important issues. The first issue is the stimulus check, and what's the update on that, and the PPP, and what's the update on that. And I'm going to touch a very little bit about the EIDL. So the stimulus check, as we all know, has been approved and signed by the president is for $600 for every taxpayer, including every child on a tax return. Now the president proposed uh, the Congress to have it as a $2,000 and, and to increase the 600 to become $2,000. And unfortunately, the uh, Congress today I think today, yes, uh, they shut it down and did not, not did not allow the two thousand dollars to go or to pass through. Now we have only the six hundred dollars option for right now. Now, the Congress one we're saying to shut it down doesn't mean it's dead. No, I think they just need more negotiation. You give me this, I give you that. You give me this, I give you that, and so on and so forth. As you guys know, and at the end, we're screwed regardless. Okay, again, this is not a, a political channel. It's all about financial, but also we'll explain what's going on because I hate what's going on. Anyway, so once the Congress, if the Congress approves the $2,000, which is very possible, and you already received the $600, you would not gonna receive the $2,000. No, you're gonna receive a catch up, which is $1,400 in addition to the $600. Don't be confused. They approved is $600. You will receive it regardless. The proposed is $2,000 in general. So if you receive the $600, then you will receive an additional $1,400 as a taxpayer. As a child, they will receive, or the child will receive $600, period. So if you are taxpayers of today, you will receive $600. If you're single, if you're married found jointly, you will receive $600 for you, $600 for your spouse, that's $1,200, and $600 for every child listed on your tax return. If you have a dependent on your tax return, but for whatever reason you uh, had she or he file the tax return, then it becomes dependent on you, but file their own tax return, they are not going to receive $600, okay? So it's only strictly for a child. Technically, it's under 18, but I don't want to stick to that number. So what are I saying about this? <laughs> the great news is the $600 will go out as of tonight, and I will approve it to you. It's not my word. It's the IRS word, and I'm going to share a screen with you guys to show you uh, the IRS indication of that. So so right here, if we go to IRS.gov, we're going to see what they're saying. Um, Treasury and the IRS begin delivering second round of economic impact payments to millions of Americans, OK? This is initial direct deposit payments maybe, uh, maybe begins, may begins arriving as early as tonight for some of the continued see as early as tonight. OK, one thing I want to show you guys here is what I just said earlier about the um, here. Who is eligible for the second economic impact payments? Generally, U.S. citizen and uh, residents aliens who are not eligible to be claimed, who are not eligible to be claimed as dependents on someone else's tax return. Okay are eligible for a second payments. Now, right, eligible individuals will automatically receive economic impact payments of up to $600 for individuals, $600 for individuals, or $1,200 for married couple, and up to $600 for each qualified child. Generally, if you have adjusted gross income of for 2019, up to $75,000, or individual, for individuals, and up to $150,000 for married family children, return and surviving spouse. Okay, let's, let's recap this really quick. If you're single, making $75,000 or less, you will receive the $600. If you're married found jointly and you're making $150,000 a year or less, you will receive $600 for you, $600 for your spouse, and $600 for each child listed on your tax return. The third option, which is not indicated here, is the head of household. 
If you are head of household and you're making 112,500 or less, you are eligible to receive the $600 stimulus check and another $600 for your child because you, once you're head of household, you're automatically having a child on that tax return status. Okay, so these are the threshold eligibility for the $600. Now, let me read some of the stuff that I collected from the bill when I read it, and just to clarify for you all. First thing is, if you what ha you have to file at least 2019, 2018 tax return for you to be eligible for this tax return, because ours does not know what's your taxes in 2020, but they know in 2019 and 2018. So you have to have one of those two tax returns there. What happened if you file 2018 or end 2019, but you have not received the first similar check, then you will let your tax professional, CPA, your accountant, that you have not received it, even though you are eligible, okay? Then what they should do, they should file repeat, I'm sorry, recovery repaid credit on your 2020 tax return to claim that stimulus only if you are eligible based on the threshold we just mentioned, 75,000 for single, 150 for marriage only, and 112,500 for uh, head of household. Now, if you were not eligible for, to, to file 2018, 2019, meaning if you were not 18 at the time, you did not have enough income to uh, file for 2018, 2019. And what about if you're a legal immigrant that you just arrived in the United States and you have your uh, status, which is green card or citizenship, and only 2020, I don't think citizenship applies for one year only, but let's say whatever immigration law, I don't know. So if you were having 2020, I do not know. The IRS never specified what should do with this, but it's very specific about one tax return, at least 2018, 2019, to be in record for or in order for the IRS to distribute this money for you, the first stimulus check and the second stimulus check. And like I said, the second stimulus check, the $600 is going as early as tonight. And it's gonna continue maybe uh, the first wave up to January 4th, going forward. And I think the first uh, patch of checks are probably gonna go out by by December 30th and going forward, okay? So these are the, the most important stuff I wanna touch base on for the stimulus and just to make you aware. So um, now I wanna talk a little bit about the uh, PPP. Now we're finished with the stimulus, we understand the threshold, we understand what's going on now with the Congress and the amounts. And like, again, I wanna really emphasize guys to understand you will receive definitely $600 for you, your spouse, your child, it's based on the marriage status. But if the 2000 gets approved, I'm not gonna receive another 2000. You will receive only 1400 etc. So let's move on to different topics and let's see uh, the PPP. The PPP earlier, the first round, because now we're gonna talk about the second round. The first round was to get the money, do not claim it as income, but I'm sorry, you would not claim the deduction, which quali qualified the PPP uh, to be forgiven. You're no longer, or you do not want, or you do not, or you will not be qualified to have this deduction on your tax return for 2020. And that was very sad, that was very nice. Then the new bill said, no, IRS, you're wrong. Sorry, the taxpayers who got the PPP will have the deduction that qualified the PPP as forgiveness to be deduction on the tax return. And this has been approved and confirmed. And this is really, really awesome news for all business holders that they have. And the best yet to come is the PPP round to pretty much everything the same. The application, the requirements, everything except one thing, one condition, right? That one condition says as follows. You have to have one quarter of 2020 to be 25% or more less in gross income than one quarter of 2019. What? Let us talk numbers, guys. Let us share a screen here 
and see what the numbers are. I prepared something really quick for you all just to look at it. Let me just take this out because that was my calculation. Come on, come on, come on. And we delete this, we delete this, we delete this, we delete this. All right. So one quarter, one quarter of 2020 has to be 25% less in gross income, right? This is what it has to be, how we apply this. Let's say hypothetically. In 2019, quarter one gross income for you, for your restaurant, for your business, for whatever it is, is just $10,000. Then it has to be 25% or less for 2020. How would compare that? We will multiply this guy, which is the $10,000 gross, first quarter, first quarter gross income by 75%. To get sorry, equal this multiplied by seventy five percent. So it's seven hundred dollars, seventy five hundred dollars. Is seventy five hundred dollars less than nine thousand? No, then it's no. You're not qualified for the first quarter. I'm sorry. Then let's try the second quarter. We do the same exact formula. We take this fifteen thousand dollars. We multiply it by seventy five. What is the seventy five percent? Is one hundred percent minus twenty five percent which is the lesser amount, it gives you 75%. Enter, it's 11,250. Is 11,250 less than 5,600? No, then you are qualified. You can stop right here and you can apply for your PPP once it's open. That's my understanding of the bill. Let's just continue on if you don't have the rest. We do the same exact formula, this guy, multiply 0.75 equal, it's $15,000, what we have, $16,000, you're not qualified. Assuming if all quarters are not qualified. The last, not least, is this guy, multiply 0.75, equal 18,750, but you have 13,000 in 2020 for the same quarter. You're way much less than 25%. You are qualified, you're perfect to go. Then what is the PPP, how it works as of right now, as far as the guidance goes with the SBA guidance, the PPP is the total payroll divided by 12 and divided by 2.5. So let's say take the wages, the wages we have is $10,000, right? We gonna multiply, uh, take that $10,000 divided by 12, 12 months of the year, would give us this amount of money, right? Then we gotta take this amount of money came out, multiplied by 2.5, 2.5, this is the original proposed number from the SPA and the IRS and Congress, then this is the maximum PPP you would get for round two under this bill for the basis of $10,000 wages. And that's where you're going to qualify later on as for giving amount when the time comes and everything is clear, okay? so. That is pretty much what the PPP. There's a little bit about the EIDL. For those got EIDL up to do, up to ten thousand dollars advance payments, you're done. There is nothing for you anymore. That's it. Congratulations, you have maximized your benefits. For those could not get the, up to the ten thousand dollars, they got one or two thousand or up to nine thousand because of the amount of employees. You have the chance to claim the ten thousand dollars. There's two conditions. I'm not gonna touch base on them right now. It's kind of a little silly, but it's very easy to find online and get them. There's two conditions. You have to be in a poor area. I don't remember the second one, but it's not my main concern right now. My main concern is the stimulus for individuals and the PPP for business owners because they are the most important. Those are covering so much of the expense of people, expenses for people. So. These are the two issues I want to talk about. These are the whole things going on as of right now, and this is what's going to help you. The two issues for the stimulus check for $600 has been signed and approved. The PPP round two with these rules are signed and approved. It's good to go. So you just keep an eye on the SBA and your bank. Once it's offering and opening the application or the portal, or whatever that is, jump on it, claim your money. That's free money, just like the first PPP. And you do the same process. Seek help if you cannot do it. If you've done it before with someone else's help, 
seek the same help. Uh, let's organize it. Get this money, please. It's your money. You have been you have been paying for this for so long. It's just time to get this money. I understand some people will jump out. Oh, your issue is gonna pay for it. I, I totally understand that. I have no problem. I mentioned in one of my videos. Yes, someone will gonna pay for this money. But you know what? It's a time where driving everyone crazy. I have no idea what's going on, what is going to happen with, with what is going on today in, in, in the political scene. And as I said, this is not a political channel, and I don't want to even get to that, and I don't want to get to that. It's just, it's, it's, I cannot comprehend what's going on. Let's stick to business, let's stick to financials and accounting taxes. That's all. So please claim this money if you can. If you're qualified for the 25% less, claim it and get your business going on. Um, again, I apologize. I haven't been able to post so many um, videos as I promised. Um, I've been hammered with qualifying my clients for the PPP, helping them, uh, organizing things for them, uh, qualifying a lot. It's been a little bit crazy for me, but I honestly honest got, I will keep my promise up where I'm going to talk about you know, the sole proprietor, the LLC, the S Corp, the C Corp, the partnerships, the trust, the, the revocable, revocable trust, all that I'm going to talk about this in details and explain to you specifically and especially the difference between an LLC and an S Corp and an S Corp. And I think I will do it very soon because I have been asked so many times about that particular part and I will do my best to, to explain it the best I can. So stay tuned. I will come soon to you guys and I will try to make another video, quick video for tax uh, tips for the end of the year. So you can guys just gather whatever you can for the next month or so until we get to uh, the tax uh, season time. Please leave them in the comments, questions, anything you need to know uh, in the comments and I will do my best to get there. And also I will share a lot of links to help you guys with everything. Uh, I hope you are very happy, nice new year, and I hope you had a blessed and unbelievable Christmas. Please enjoy your life, regardless of what's going on, what's happened, relax. There is nothing need to be stressed about, okay? You're a human, you've been looked after by God. There is nothing to worry about. Life will continue regardless, regardless life will continue. It's up to you to choose. You want to continue or you want to end it up by stress and getting crazy. Live the life as is. God bless you all. I have the best for you all and happy new year. Thank you, Rama William, the stock by knowledge and the company's camera accounting. Great day.